Hi, it's me, Tiki. Now, the following video is very short and it's an excerpt taken from last night's live stream where I am going through the comments thread on my Facebook page, which was started by the guy I made a video about on Friday, who is extremely butthurt and is now threatening to sue me. So stick around and check it out. Tidy! Let's get this, let's get this going. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I got up Saturday morning. I was uh, performing my morning stuff, reading through comments. All right, we'll have a we'll have a quick look at Facebook then. So I had a look at Facebook, and I came across this. Now I've hidden his name because I'm not a complete blend, and I'm not going to dox anybody. I received this comment from the topic of Friday's video. Would you like me to prepare filing a lawsuit against you for infringing upon the rights to my video? First part of that sentence, this guy clearly does not understand fair use. And more importantly than that, it wasn't his video. He uploaded police body camera footage to his YouTube channel. Whether whether you're allowed to do that or not, I, I absolutely have no clue and I'm not gonna pretend that I do, but that's the first part I would call into question over this comment. You called me a sovereign citizen, you stupid, ignorant box of rocks. <laughs> Is he a sovereign citizen? I don't know. And I equally don't care. But maybe he's not, because that seemed to have upset him. I have never referred to myself as a sovereign citizen. I actually don't care. And for you to call me names in your video, that seems like malicious intent. But didn't he just call me a stupid, ignorant box of rocks? I merely pointed out the facts, which are that he's an idiot. Cyberbullying and slander. First time I've ever made a video about this guy, and all I did was point out what his video showed was the truth so good one enjoy the video while it's up because you're gonna be hit with a notice of claim Ooh, legal jargon this is getting scary i think he means a copyright claim but you know he's the lawyer not me for you to piggyback off my work <laughs> But how much work was it to make yourself look like a complete idiot and get arrested in the process? And how the hell did you get hold of the police body cam footage anyway? That's the question I would be asking. And make a joke of it when I'm still learning. Well, you said you were a lawyer because you'd studied all weekend. It's not my fault. You provided me with misinformation in your very original content. And just so that you know, Mr. Lawyer, YouTube takes a very dim view of people that file false copyright claims because the video I made was used under the terms of fair use. It was transformed by my commentary and editing and also it's not your video anyway, so there was no work involved. So try it. And I was in fact right in the instance of being towed off public property by a private business. I'm sure you failed to mention anywhere in the video that I was exercising a constitutionally protected activity that was thwarted by the cops. Thwarted. Hang on a second. Editing creaky here, by the way. If he's saying he's sure that I failed to mention anywhere in the video that he was carrying out a constitutionally protected blah 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 whatever doesn't that imply that he hasn't even watched the entire video well, I'm, I'm glad it was thwarted by the cops because if it hadn't have been thwarted there would be no video for me to make I currently have calls and stand in to prepare claim against all officers involved in the deprivation of rights seems to be a word missing there the retaliation and the false arrest but it wasn't a false arrest you pretended to be a police officer it was an actual arrest just because you don't like it doesn't make it false I'm going to dissect this video take notes and I'm gonna call you out for your ignorance <laughs> and what you're doing here with my work I, I didn't reply I just thought I'm not gonna give this this douchebag the time of day why should I why should I point any attention in his direction because clearly that's what he that's what he craves but then this morning no this morning was it yesterday many hours after receiving this comment because he also is one of the people who forgets that time zones are a thing. And I live in the UK. He lives in Hicksville, USA, or wherever the hell he's from. Virginia or something. Something like that, wouldn't it? Um, I thought, I'm, I'm going to reply to this guy. He's doing my doing my head in. So I said, simple and straightforward. It's called fair use, pal. And uploading it doesn't make it yours. It was police body cam footage. By the way, a friend of mine, and I'm talking about Schrodinger's cat, not Schrodinger, 
not sure who Schrodinger is, was inviting him to, to, a, to debate the topic of becoming a lawyer over the weekend. Maybe I'm not sure. I didn't go into any great depth with, with Schrodinger about the topic, but the gentleman in question has, uh, has taken it upon himself to reply again, which is fine and dandy. And he says, the creaky blinder, that's, that's me, I'm creaky. Your beliefs and apparently socially retarded antics are all ass backwards. I prefer to think of myself as special because I hate that word. It's amazing how you guys talk about things you know nothing about. You're right, I know nothing at all about being a complete moron who gets himself unnecessarily arrested. Pulling in followers after somebody else's work benefits you, you sound like a... It was common a garden thief. He then asked me, how does it feel to be publicly out ousted as a liar and instigator? Is, is ousted the right word in? I would have said outdid myself, but what do I know? I'm just a, a liar and an instigator. Is an instigator similar to an alligator, but a bit smaller? I'm not really sure what he's getting at there. So my reply was quite a lot of laughing till I cry emojis. So then, for some reason, he felt compelled. I think this was what we could possibly call fear tactics. I think he was hoping I'd be scared of the fact that he's already done a video about Schrodinger. And then Matt Shedler said, well, that wasn't very nice. So I'm assuming that Matt's comment is an indication of what the... Um, what the rest of the video was uh, was about. So this is a very short video. This was just a small section of last night's live stream because I know not everybody watches me live, but I did think this was worth sharing. So we will see where it goes. And I got up this morning and I'd received... I... I'd received this. Now I know I'm no lawyer and you clearly are, but saying you were going to start legal proceedings because I'd upset you by calling you names and then proceeding to call me a wreath and saying that I'm as dumb as a box of rocks, which may well be the case. But then add to that, sending a naked picture to me via my Facebook page. I think you may have blown it. So if you're interested in seeing where these threats go, because that's all he's doing is threatening me, hoping that I'll take the video down, which I most definitely want, then I've included a link to the comments thread on my Facebook page in the description below, and we shall see what happens. Take care, everyone, and I will see you tomorrow for a normal Tuesday video. Bye. Have a playing field, so what, which, uh... I'd like to speak with the superior directly. Okay. All right, well, you're speaking to me right now, so what, what do you need help with? I would like to speak with the superior directly, sir. I want to make sure my constitutional rights are respected through this whole process of the ordeal. All right, all right, watch this next. But before you do, make sure you subscribe. By order of the creaky blind.